2027, Tinubu to dump Shetima for a Christian vice president. Ahead of the 2027 general election, there are moves by the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, to drop Kasim Shetima for a Christian Northern Northern that run on a joint ticket with President Bola Tinubu. This media gathered that the move seen as a political master struck is to address the continued rejection of the Muslim Muslim ticket, which the ruling party forced down the truth of Nigerians in 2023. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for late stopping by. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Ahead of the 2023 general election, there are moves by the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, to drop Kasim Shetima for a Christian Northern Northerner that run on a joint ticket with President Bola Tinubu. These media gathered that the move seen as a political masterstroke is to address the continued rejection of the Muslim Muslim ticket, which the ruling party forced down the truth of Nigerians in 2023. Consequently, Boss Mustafa and Yakubo Dogara, the former secretary to the government of the Federation and ex speaker of the House of Representatives, respectively are currently being considered for the role. The choice of the former SGF is to avoid losing the political support of the former president, Muhammad Buhari's camp, while that of Dogara was to coordinate the Khan leadership. Plans are also afoot to engage Christian youths by APC to negotiate their inclusion in 2023 presidency ticket. A source who told our correspondent in confidence said the upcoming Igbo's must go protest by the Yoruba and Southwest region, particularly Lagos, is an initiative by the APC administration to divert the citizens' attention from end bad governance protest to Nigerians' possible break off and to further divert the Igbo's and South East attention from seeking the presidency in 2027. According to him, the silence of Igbo leaders in APC as well as the Southwest leaders speaks volume. This media further learns the presidency has concluded plans to woe prominent Igbo leaders, including sitting governors, to widen down the influence of the People's Democratic Party PDP and by extension, the ambition of Atiku Abubakar. Meanwhile, there is growing concern in the party as stakeholders fear that the APC may find it difficult to win elections due to the hardship being felt across the country. Consequently, the national chairman of the APC, Adulai Ganjudi, has reportedly urged party stakeholders to sponsor encourage, join, and report any issue regarding PDP State Congress. Sokoto and Kano are said to be the two states already identified for possible onslaught by the ruling party. There are sponsored sustained moves by the presidency to use state governors as scapegoats in the ongoing nationwide and bad governance protests over alleged mismanagement of public funds is told our respondent. These have generated the reactions. That is what brought us to this mess, and we should be very careful before Nigeria will catch fire. God forbid. Not possible without impeachment. Nigerians are no longer interested in politics, so leave us alone. There is no competent Christian in the north looking for Christian this time around. Who goes still vote for Tinubu? And who do you think will vote for you? He has not done half of his tenor. He is thinking of second one. Very selfish man without focus. I think it is too early given all turbulence ongoing within and outside this core administration of President Tinubu. 
dead on arrival. APC should be packing their bags and baggages in Aso Rock come 2027. Do we even have any Christian politician in the North? This idea is dead on inception. Any Christian that allows himself to be used as a replacement of an evil agenda will carry his shame. What is not good is not good, even when it is painted or rebranded. I just pity the people when I accept these Muslim tickets in the first place. But that is not even the major issue. The bigger issue is that a right-thinking person won't consider tenable for a job of gate man in his house, given his record and entire life controversies. These are reactions from Nigerians. Okay, Nigerians are already rejecting this. They say no, 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 no to present Bola Tinubu and all that. Do you think if he, if they they bring in a Christian as a vice president, it will change President Bola Tinubu policies that is currently hitting Nigerians very hard? So, what is this benefit of bringing Christian to replace a Muslim? A vice president with the hardship, with the, they had uh, policies on Nigerians. I'm dropping it here. I beg, make me hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video, let it go viral. Thank you, and bye for now.